Hello everyone, James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining me. And as you can tell, this is going to be a Halloween themed episode. A little obvious. I'll be sure to be Harley Quinn next year. Anyway, so going with the theme of Halloween, I, d I wanted to make a camp cooking episode. We haven't done one of those in a while. And I just wanted to carve out a pumpkin and make a stew in it. You know, something fun, something out of the ordinary, you know, something a little festive, yet still retaining a little bit of that bushcraftiness and camp cooking. So I brought my ingredients with me. And then of course I'm getting this fire nice and hot so we can get a really nice hot bed of coals going. And then we're gonna be eating good tonight. So I hope y'all are hungry. Stick around. Time to break out the ingredients. So first things first, guys, you're gonna need a pumpkin. Now, you want a medium-sized pumpkin, not something too large, not something too small, just enough where it can hold some stew in it. Now, what you put in your stew, that's really up to you. Uh, I'm gonna go with my personal taste, which I really like to add mushrooms to my stews. For this one, I wanna add a little bit of squash, some garlic, some cheddar worst sausage, a little bit of celery for crunch. That, that's for dessert, I'll put that away. Okay, and then some broth of some kind. I'm gonna go with chicken broth just for some flavor. Now, of course, when we're dealing with flavor, you're gonna put spices. So be sure to bring some spices and add what you want. I'm more of a cayenne pepper, and salt kind of guy but for this i'm probably going to add some cumin and coriander as well and that's about it so from here we just got to go ahead and hollow out this pumpkin open it up remove the stuff on the inside so we can start fitting in our ingredients Oh, and some kind of cooking oil as well. I personally, I'm very fond of olive oil, so that's what I brought, but whatever you want, that'll do. All right, time to hollow it out. So today I'm gonna to be using my LT Wright Genesis in a flat grind, and with that flat grind, it's gonna be very good for this. So, now we're gonna to wanna to keep this top as a lid while it cooks to retain the moisture and the heat in there, but little by little, I'm not puncturing all the way through, just little by little, going around, and then making my way in there. Now my hand naturally gravitates to go a little lower, but I don't want it to, to go too low because then I run the risk of my broth spilling while it cooks. So I have to take the knife out, then kind of aim it upwards. A little too high. Now you want to be careful with this. You don't want to get careless and then mess up your hand or something. So safety first always. There you go. Now we can begin up here, remove this stuff. Now, if you wanna save the seeds, which you should, you can go ahead and just place them on a plate. I'll go ahead and bring a plate from my vehicle in a little bit, but for the, for the most part, I could just get rid of these little ones. Use the back of your spine if you wanna get more thorough on that, but that's fine, it's fine by me. And once again, you wanna do this where it becomes a lid later on while it's cooking. So from here on, we're gonna start cutting through now be careful, you don't want to go too close to the walls and then you can puncture it and then it's not going to be retaining any of the broth. So just be careful with that. Kind of just softly bringing it up. There you go. All right, so let's go ahead and get this squash. Now you don't need so much. This stew is essentially for a one person stew. So 
Um, it's not going to hold that much stuff, so you don't want to over encumber it with just a lot of a ton of ingredients. Just the right amount for all of them uh, is good, you know, just for variety, but don't overdo it. So I'm not going to need this much for this stew. Probably about half of it because I'm still going to cut these in half so they cook a little faster. But this is where the strength of this knife, the LT Wright Genesis in a flat, or just flat grinds in general, they're just exceptional slicers for food. And I'd say that's about it. After this, like I said, I'm going to just be cutting this in half. And that should be enough to fit in that pumpkin. Add some olive oil on a pot really quick and we're just gonna very quickly throw in the sausage and veggies in there so they can heat up just for a bit because if not it's gonna take forever in the pumpkin so we get that nice and hot before we start throwing our ingredients in there shouldn't take too long We just let it simmer for about five minutes just to go ahead and just soften it up because if not, it's gonna take like two hours to cook in the pumpkin. So uh, I just don't have that kind of time. So if you don't wanna do it that way, you can take the long route, I'm not. So just place all this inside the pumpkin and just the right amount. You want just the right amount in there, not too much, not too little. All right, so. I'm very much a cayenne pepper kind of guy. I like my food very spicy, so to each his own. Okay, some salt. Black pepper. A little bit of coriander. Some cumin. Okay, now to pour in the broth, the chicken broth. This is one cup, and I think that's about it. That's, you don't want to get it too soupy, so that's pretty good. Okay, so now we're gonna place this right here over a rock. And we just have this nice hot bed of coals and we're gonna leave it for about an hour and a half and it's just gonna soften up simmer in there. And then it's munch time.
so it's been about half an hour. We are turning, rotating the pumpkin because we don't want it to burn too much at the bottom where it could, you know, puncture it. But uh, slowly but surely, you can see it's already clouding up, getting pretty warm in there. We'll give it about an hour and a half. I mean, camp cooking, it's not really a time thing. It's just, you know, relaxing. But if it's taking too long, we might just take the stone boiling method and just, I have some rocks over here heating up. So if I have to, I'll just dunk them in there and uh, get it nice and hot. All right, folks, so the pumpkin has been cooking for about an hour. Well, not cooking, but been around the heat for an hour. And it's just taking a little too long. So we're just gonna get a little bush crafty. And as you could tell the bottom, it was getting pretty hot but I just don't want to risk it rupturing because you could see a little bit was uh, part of the outer part of the pumpkin. But um, yeah, now this is pretty warm. This is pretty warm, but let's get it nice and hot. So bushcraft skills to the rescue. I hope you don't mind a little bit of ash on your stew. And one more. And then uh, be careful when you're eating it. Try not to bite the rock and break your teeth. <laughs> but uh, there we go. That'll that'll heat it up right there. All right. Let's take a. A taste test and you can tell the squash is already falling apart yeah man that's that's um uh, tastes way better than I was anticipating you don't really taste the pumpkin so much but it's just been slowly just simmering in there and just a mix of, of the sausage with the cheese that comes in the sausage, the mushrooms, the celery. And the squash is nice and soft. Let's try out this celery, see if it's still hard. No, that worked really well. In fact, I think honestly, had we just moved it a little bit away from the coals and just let it simmer for another 30 minutes, it would have been just fine. But you know, when, when it comes to shooting videos, we're on a timed schedule. So um, we just dunked in the rocks. So you can do that, you know, a little bit of mixing of uh, some camping, some bushcraft stuff, and it worked very well. So. And that came out really good. Um, as you can tell, the celery and the squash is, is nice and soft. And of course the mushrooms are as well. Now, this was something of a last minute idea, guys. We actually thought of this barely about two weeks ago and we've tried two of pumpkins before this and I think this one came out the best. So, uh, I just, I think the stone boiling was what was missing to make this just really good, really pop. And for those wondering, I did remove the stones already from here. So, bon appetit. I actually got the idea a couple weeks ago from Townsend and Son or the Townsend YouTube channel where he teaches, this gentleman teaches a lot of colonial 18th century style cooking and their recipes. And I just, I think, I think that's just so fascinating. And there was an episode on cooking with it with pumpkins and using pumpkins as, as you know, an ingredient. And I thought that was interesting. So I wanted to add my own spin. We, you know, make a stew and something a little spicy because I like spicy food and it came out really good. In fact, we've made two practice ones prior to this and this one tastes the best, just perfect. So that was really awesome. So. Thank you all for watching, guys. This was, once again, something of a last-minute idea, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, just to switch up the formula and have some fun. And uh, let us know next year. Uh, comment below, what would you like to see for our Halloween episode? Doesn't always have to be camp cooking. So go ahead and give us a like if you, th if you did enjoy this video. And we'll see you guys next week. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.